All right, here we are in Las Vegas with Master Ted Carson at the at the World Cup. We're going to talk to him. <clears throat> excuse me about a couple of things. <clears throat> excuse me, Ted. Um, Region 12 is a big passion of yours, right? It is. And a lot going on there soon. So first off, tell us a little bit about what's it like. What's your history with Region 12? Well, Region 12 is the biggest region in the country. It is. Yeah, it is. And uh, of course, the last seven years or so, we the, the spotlight uh, bre uh, breeding program, fertility program, was developed, and has made a big influence for us uh, for getting yearlings and, and breeding, and, and it's been a real, uh, just a bright spot for the breeders. Tell, tell viewers a little bit about spotlight. What that means. Well, the spotlight is is basically set up just like the Minnesota breeders. Uh, Fall Fest, like the signature at Scottsdale, so it's the same exact thing. We we sell breedings to stallions, create jackpots, and, and then it's a spot for people to come in and, and show their yearlings, get paid a little bit of money back, at least pay for their part of their way, or maybe make some money if they win it. Uh, it's been just a real notch for our breeders because we needed something like that on the East Coast that they didn't have to travel across the country and still be have you know some kind of a little payback and jackpot for them. It's been, it made it very exciting for them. Okay. Do you know what horses you're taking to Region 12? Not that I'm asking you to reveal well, that. Course. I'm just saying, I mean, do you know? You know, yeah, yeah, but it's it's almost all yearlings and two-year-olds. You know? Really? It's just the young group of horses and then also a young group of riding horses as well. So anything that we've kind of brought, brought along for, for the halter horses, then we ride them uh, to their three and four-year-old years and it's part of that breeding fraternity program. Yep. So. I'm a huge Lisa Blackstone fan. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. She was one of my greatest interviews at Scottsdale. Wow. You're you're not quite as pretty as she is. That's but, true. But you're very interesting, and so is Lisa. Okay. So on so that note, Region 12, yeah. Lisa Lisa was a great interview, okay. and on the back of a golf cart. Remember, Kara? So this I don't mean to embarrass you, but so my observation is. You're a gentleman, and you put yourself into positive, interesting things in the breed okay. globally. Yeah. Not a lot of people. Not loud. Not not uh, something that makes huge splashes, but it goes on. Right. And, I, and that's my perception. So tell me what your involvement was with Excalibur. I mean, give me give us an example. So like you know what happened with Excalibur was, is I really wanted some type in our breeders programs, right? So. I went to Europe and the UK and I ran around and, and looked at you know, basically the justice lines, you know? And so it just wasn't what I wanted. So what happened is that just that, that same year, I think actually, I saw Shanghai at uh, Paris, his yearling year. And when I saw him, I said, that's the one I want, okay? For a breeding program. So what happened was, is that I worked with Albert for two or three, uh -huh. four years, right? Yeah. Then he let us, he allowed us to be the representative here for him and, that, and for Albert and the horse, uh, Shanghai. And and then through that process, we said, well, we should maybe have a baby here. And and I went over and picked him out, you know, and said, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one we should have to yeah. represent Shanghai in, in the U.S. Right. Yeah. So uh, anyways, I flew to Dubai, which is where he was at. and. Um, I said, yeah, let's bring him over. That's the, that's the right one, you know? And so he came over and uh, he was, a, you know, he ended up being the blessing. And that's what's amazing. I got to tell you, uh, and I watched that whole thing. And between you and Olivia, who was so focused and so there for that horse, yeah. as you were, and as was uh, Princess Letitia, right, like, right. it was a really yeah. seamless, pretty. Yeah. yeah, you know, was, yeah. and yeah. I was in Aachen. I saw him, you know, yeah. the highest score horse. I mean, that must have made you really proud. To uh, you know, for sure, and to be able to be a part of horses like that, I yeah. think that we all want to be a part of horses like that. Yeah. But what happened for us was that, you know, through my career, basically, I, I showed some winners, and then winning horse with horses just wasn't enough. So I, I, I so I really went after horses that, that we could breed to, you know, and that, and that had to be a part of our programs. So Excalibur ended up being, um, you know, producing the, the colt that won Scottsdale for us. The bay colt. And the bay, yeah. Beautiful. You know, and so, so this colt, he's gray actually, but that's okay. He is? Yeah. I thought he was he bay. Looked, he looks bay, but he he's looks gray. bay. Yeah, he's yeah. turning gray, yeah. yeah. And, and so anyways, we bred him, and this is for Excalibur's first baby ever shown. 
you know? And so for us, it's been amazing, you know? We went after Shanghai, ended up with Excalibur, then we have this Exalt cult coming along. And uh, so that's what's, you know, for us, that's what's been our biggest goal, is we're really going after, you know, pro a whole program, you know? So. Sometimes it's the very first ones. Like, sometimes when you have a great young stallion, it's his first fold. Sometimes it's a mare's first fold. That's you know right, what I mean? True. Like, yeah. there's, there's a lot of examples I can't, you know, no. don't want to get into that now, but there's a lot of examples like that. I agree. You know, yeah. and uh, you have to really trust that, yeah, you know, not true. question that if yeah. you see it, I think, true. you know. Yeah. So if you could resurrect two horses in the breed, who would they be and hmm. why? Well, for sure, Padron was the one that, you know, I fell in love with. He was, I, I was neighbors to uh, Donnie and Shorty Boggs. They were, that's who I grew up next to. So Padron was kind of the first one that you felt, you know, it was, it was the, re the easy one to fall in love with, you know, his personality and, and he was beautiful, he was, cha you know, national champion. And, you know, so he was, uh, he was part of that program right there. His and, charisma would just draw you right in, right? You know, and, yeah, and so, you know, for sure that was my, that was my, the one horse that probably um, drew me in as a, as a young, uh, young man, I guess. And then, and then um, I'd have to think about the second one. You know, probably the second one would be uh, a mare named HL Infatuation. Yeah. You know, she was yeah. like, <clears throat> I brought out of a pasture as a two-year-old, never been shown before. And I was, I was leading her to the horse trailer. She took one step up into the trailer, and I said, oh my God, this, is, this thing's beautiful, you know? And I fell in love with that moment. You know, I, I knew she was beautiful, you know, in the past year. And, and so that was one of my favorite mares of all times, you know, and it was, I brought her into the scene of the, you know, the horse, of the, shirt, of the show circuit. And so probably for a horse that I touched was that, was, was a champ fluctuation, I loved her. And then um, Padron was probably the one horse that okay. really was, that started it for me eventually. Do you, were you around, do you remember David Boggs and with Padron and Jean LaCroix with Pesnier dropped back, won't go, wanting both to be the last one to go in the ring that right. day? Right, no, see that was before me. Is that, that before was, you? Yeah, it was before me. So, that was yeah, a, yeah, yeah. that was a big deal. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. one, one, one refused to go, the other refused to go, and finally somebody got forced into it. And, you know, there's some, you know, neat competitions like that, yeah. that, that happen, yeah. that, that spontaneous, no yeah. you know, yeah. those are the best. They're actually. great stories, Yeah, huh? exactly. All right, exactly. well, thank you very very much. You're welcome. Wish you the best. Thank All you. Right? Thank All right. you very much. Um, hi, Gina. Hi, Janie. How are you? I'm on camera. It just all went to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm interviewing Ted Carson. Well, I, you know, I mean, would you be rude? Ted Carson and I can, we can start over again. Or we can just let this play. Yeah.